Hello everyone, this tutorial is going to cover some more tips and tricks for using Fog of War in your campaigns. Uh, and then I'm going to cover some other odds and ends that I haven't covered to date. So, let's get started by loading a campaign here. And we're going to go back to the same campaign that we were working on before. Uh, and so we've got our map here with our adventures. If you remember last time, we actually turned off Fog of War. Uh, so we're going to leave that turned off for the moment. We're actually going to go to another map here that I have set up called uh, Topology. And you may have noticed uh, these lamps in some of the other uh, videos, and I haven't talked about them. Uh, what they can be used for uh, are environmental lights, actually. So they are actually on the hidden layer. So I'm going to click on my guy here. If I go view as player, uh, you notice he can't see them. Well, even if he's inside, they don't show up on the map because uh, they're, again, on the hidden layer. So let's go to the, the hidden layer. We'll turn off view as player here. We're just going to borrow this guy, so we're going to copy it here. Uh, and then we're going to go to uh, our map. And then we're just going to paste them, a few lights in here. We can kind of see where it's illuminating. Uh, and we'll paste one over here. Uh, so most of the room's lit up with these lights. There's a little gap here. I can put in a, a small light here. And, uh, I can just tweak this one to have a, a lower uh, light value. Um, so this is like if you want to have a room that's, say, lit up by torches or something like that, just so you don't have to worry about uh, uh, the uh, players having that um, uh, on them all the time. There we go. So now the whole room there is lit up. So now if we go to our player view, view player. Oh, whoops. You know, one thing I noticed I screwed up. Uh, I put all these in the token layer here. So what we're going to do is just uh, hold down the shift key, select them all, right click, change to hidden. So now the player can't see them. So let's go to view, show as player. Uh, and what we're going to do here is actually just turn off his light source. Uh, we'll just do clear all. Uh, so that's a bad idea, actually. Uh, let's uh, light source. Uh, give him a weak glowing weapon so we can find him on the map. Um, and what we're going to do here is walk him in here. And now, voila, he can see. Uh, shown here by the white lines, you can see into this room. Um, so that's how you do that. Now, uh, you may not want, um, as I mentioned before, you may not want, want Fog of War on everything. Uh, so, let's put these lights up. apparently the squares are a bit bigger. Um, so what you can do there is, so let's go zoom out to the whole map here. So map. Uh, we'll turn on Fog of War. So, uh, well, let's turn up our player view here, so we can see through the map, fog, actually. So let's say we only wanted fog around uh, the, the rooms in the castle. So what I can do is click the Fog of War tool. Uh, I'm going to uh, just use the big rectangle here for the time being. And I'm going to just left click, and that will expose all that. And then what I'll do is... And then uh, shift. I'm going to do it actually inside the borders. Shift uh, of the, the actual castle here. Shift and uh, left click. And so now, being a little sloppy here, I realize, but you get the gist of it. Uh, only things inside of the castle have five of war turned on. So that means that from a distance, our players can maybe, you know, if we put some lights outside the castle, uh, let's do that just so you can see it. Zoom out a little bit. So from a distance, uh, our players, if we uh, go back to view, show us player, players can maybe see the castle, but they can't see what's inside of it. Um, and I left that to the blank. And then as they go in, go over here, control P, 
see, you can start to see wherever it's illuminated, you can start to see inside and clear the fog of war. Uh, you know, keep in mind, he just has that little torch. Now, as soon as he walks in this room, because we've put lights everywhere, uh, presumably, uh, let's see, goes there, you can start to see lots of the room because uh, there's all those torches that we put in there. So, that's a neat little trick you can do uh, to play with fog of war. Um, there's uh, a couple other tools here which I haven't talked about. Uh, there's the measure tool. Um, what the measure tool does is it allows you to measure the number of hexes. Uh, so you notice, uh, so how many hexes for, for whatever reason this grid is five times as larger than it should be. So though it actually be four hexes, but it's reading as 20. Anyway, that's a configuration problem, but you get the gist of it. The other thing I haven't talked about is how you can move around objects. So let's say, uh, let's uh, get fun here. We'll just go to the grasslands here where we've got a bunch of tokens. Um, so let's say, uh, oops, I've got the measuring tool, so we'll go back to the, the pointer tool here. Uh, so let's say I want to get to my buddy here, but the uh, monster is in my way. Uh, you can't, uh, in Dungeons and Dragons, go through the hex of the monster. So what you can do is go like this, press the space bar, and that will set a waypoint. So we'll set a couple waypoints there, and that'll uh, map it out such that, that you're going around an object. Uh, finally, I, I realize I still haven't talked about the little rabbit after all these tutorials. Uh, this is important for the 4E campaign. You always want to start by using the campaign framework. You always want to leave this ferret with bunny ears in there. You just create a new map and just leave the grass, grasslands in your campaign. It's important for having macros run properly. You don't have to duplicate it. You don't have to do anything with it. Just let it be. And that's about all the additional things I wanted to add. So good luck gaming.